Hey guys, guess what time it is? Time to scrapbook. Hey, welcome to Scrapping It Up. I'm Vanessa Peter, and tonight I am teaching you how to make the notepad holder part two to where I'm teaching you from start to finish how to make this um, project so you'll have a special gift for that someone in your life and uh, make a a great Christmas gift for that someone special so welcome welcome ladies like I said this is part two um, if you haven't caught part one please go back um, we done it last night and um, it's on you can catch it on the replay and we started making this and we got our cover all done so tonight we're going to start working on um, the elements on the inside of this album. Um, this notepad measures nine and a quarter by pretty nine and a quarter by six. Okay, and um, it makes for a perfect gift for that someone um, in your life, or you know great Christmas gifts. I mean, my gosh, if I received this as a Christmas gift, I would be ecstatic. I mean, something handmade by someone and, and gifted to you. I mean, what a gift. What a gift. There's, there's nothing better than something um, handmade by somebody. And I love it. Love it. I, and I, I know I'm being biased. You know, it was, it's my creation. I came up with it. But I really am in love with this. Really in love with this. And I hope you guys like it as much as I do. Okay? So, yes, I'm teaching you. Oops. I got to turn my volume down. As much as I do. Okay? So, yes, I'm teaching you. All right. If you haven't caught it, um... I gave out the cutting guide for this album so you can work right along with us. Um, I sent it out in mini chat this morning and I also sent it out if you're on my email list um, you received two emails um, that I included this because I want everybody to make this. I, I truly do. I want everybody um, to make this and you don't have to make it you know like I make mine I mean there's lots of options that you can do you know us scrapbooking people we are very very creative <laughs> very creative so I know and I've already seen um, some pictures of some ladies who have um, created this project and they're totally different than mine and they look beautiful they had their own idea and they ran with it and <coughs> it looks beautiful guys beautiful okay now um, I do have a group that's called scrapping pages in time it's a group of us ladies um, and any gentlemen who want to you know join it that is just fine um, go to scrapping pages in time go up to your search bar and search for it ask to join it's a group where I let you post pictures of your projects so you can share it with everybody in the group. Um, it's a great place to ask a question if you have a question about something. And it can even be a question like, uh, what are you guys having for dinner tonight? I need some suggestions. You know, it's just a great group of ladies. And um, I do a lot of my album making inside that group, okay? So scrapping it up, I do a lot of my 12 by 12 um, pages on Make It um, Make It Wednesday night. We do our 12 by 12s, and Monday nights, um, a lot of times we do our album making inside um, our group. Okay, so if you want to join, um, search it in the search bar, scrapping pages in time. Um, I just asked three questions, and uh, one of them I asked for your email. Um, sign up on my email list. You get uh, any updates on projects or what's going on in my life. Um, what am I creating? 
um, what you know is there a great offer that I'm throwing out there to you guys so yeah join my email list guys and if you don't want to give me your email hey that's great I totally understand okay I will still accept you inside the group okay a oh, welcome Giselle welcome and Tom Lee and Bunny and Kelly and Kelly who right in a row Kelly Kelly <laughs> <laughs> welcome ladies welcome oh ooh, you're still at work but you're watching the video Ooh, I love it I love it I'm not doing too bad Tom Lee I haven't had I done better yesterday than I did today today it's kind of been a little bit of a nuisance so I don't know if it's you know sitting in this craft chair last night I don't know not a clue so we'll see how tonight goes it only may be an hour long tonight i know i don't need to sit here for two hours that was a little long um last night oh you're giselle currently working on another project but thrilled to hang out with you oh that's awesome awesome hun awesome and welcome stephanie and patty and valerie is watching welcome val val is my sister we are 10 months and 28 days apart so welcome Val glad to have you and Marcy and Terry and Bunny yes our group definitely is a very very nice group of ladies it really is I mean if you need encouragement you know you're having troubles with a project and um, you just can't think through it post pictures in there I mean this group of ladies I mean they will tell you you know what they think of it and and try and help you out I mean it really is I'm so thankful to have such a wonderful group of ladies oh welcome Shelly glad you could join us oh thanks Patty I love it when you guys share my my stuff because um, when you share my stuff it goes out to a different audience and um, it allows different people to see what I'm doing and it gets new people interested in scrapping it up and I love it thank you very much for sharing Patty I appreciate it a oh, welcome Janie and Debbie and Priscilla welcome yeah Patty the group is really a very very nice group very nice group of ladies okay did you guys have any questions of what we done last night I know um there was a lot of you that had to watch the replay of it um, so if you've got this is the time to ask questions guys ask away and if I don't happen to answer them um, somebody in the group um, on the chat will alert me to it or um, if I don't if I miss it and and nothing said about it just repost it again okay because sometimes the comments go by i get sometimes i get too zoned in to what i'm doing here and i forget to look at the chat <laughs> you guys all know me i always need help i missed the part on how to put it together um priscilla how to put um all this together yeah, we done part one um, last night. Um, we put tie back on our spine, and um, then we put all this together, and then we even got our hinge made last night. So, um, yeah, if you want to go back and watch um, part one, I mean, I sh I show you step by step how to design the cover. And how to design this hinge in fact we've done this hinge twice because the first time I mean I made a mistake I mean we could have fixed it it would have been fine but I had a lot of people say they didn't understand it so I thought well what a good time to throw that one away start over <laughs> so we made the hinge twice oh how to put the whole thing together oh we're not even that we're not even that far Thank you, Shelly. We are just still in the early stages. And I'm, I'm going to have to glue down my washi tape. 
my washi tape is not staying stuck down. I put washi tape all, all around this and it's not staying. So if you guys use washi tape, you might um, use a little bit of glue with it. So I learned a lesson. I need to, anytime I put washi tape down, kind of put a little bit of glue with it. Lessons learned. All right. So tonight, oh, welcome, Donna. Glad you could join us. So tonight, we're going to start working on the inside of this album. We got the hinge done. And um, we got our covers get done. And guys, if you're watching on the replay and you have a question, hashtag replay. Okay? Hashtag replay. Or even just hashtag and ask your question and I will, will get back to you. Okay? That's the easiest way. If I see a hashtag, I, I know to stop and read that question. Okay? You know, sometimes I get to scrolling through there and I, I hit La La Land, I guess, sometimes. And but, but if I see a hashtag, it usually alerts my attention that, you know, somebody somebody's wanting something. Yeah, that's what I should have done, Bunny, was the art glitter glue on the washi tape, yes. So on this one, I will do that. Yeah, I've put washi tape on albums before, but it's only usually been little strips, and I've had embellishments, you know, around it. I didn't have a problem with it. But in this one, it's, it's just, you know, a strip on top, and I'm having problems with it staying. So, yeah, I should have used art. And I thought of it when I put it on. I wondered then if I should not put that art glitter glue on. So, if you guys use washi tape... I would recommend um, art glitter glue. Thank you very much, Bunny. Oh, welcome, Virginia. Glad you could join us. All right, let's get our um, cardstock on the inside, and I think can't decide if I want to use. I think I for the inside. This is the collection I'm using is um, Graphic 45's Love Notes. This is what I'm going to decorate it with. So I mean, this paper goes very nice with black and craft together. So I think I'm going to try and incorporate the black and the craft together in this. So. I think I'm going to put my craft as the cover here. Okay. So let's get this ball rolling. Oh, yeah. You could use score tape, too. Yes. Oh, Debbie had a question. I did not get all my tape on the hinge. Where do I put the last two pieces of tape? Okay. Let me show you, Debbie. Okay, your hinge looks like this. You've got a hinge here, and then you have a hinge here. This is the piece that's going to attach the three, the, the space here that is three quarters, it's almost three quarters, it's not quite, is what we want the tape attached to. Okay, but you need it attached to the back side. Okay, this is, I say the front side is, is where the hinge is, okay? So the back side to that three quarters is where you're going to put your two pieces of tape. This is what's going to attach to our album like this, okay? Here's our album. Pretend this is our album. We're going to attach it down like that, okay? To where it shows your quarter inch gusset, quarter inch gusset, and then this half an inch here which will become a hinge and this is a hinge but that's this three quarters here is what we're attaching down to our album okay I hope that helped you hun
<laughs> uh, welcome, Connie. All righty. Let's get to work. I need to grab another piece of my craft paper here. I shouldn't be bending over like that. Dang it. I should have it all up on my table. Okay. So what you want to do... You don't want to have any... Um, where, where you meet your paper. You don't want it in the spine area at all. So like this piece... I'm probably going to put it like this. This is a piece left over from when I cut my hinges. Okay, so it's it's going to work perfect for this, and then I'll cut a piece to go here, and a piece to go here. Okay, see, it's totally away from my spine area. I never, ever, 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 ever join my two pieces of paper in my um, spine area. Now, if it's a two-inch spine, you can put it right down the middle, but since this spine is only an inch... I want my connection places to be off, you know, over here somewhere. Okay. Oh. What weight is that? Yes, this is craft paper, Jamie. This is craft paper I get. I almost sound like crap paper, didn't it? Crap paper. Craft huh, paper. Oh my gosh, I heard that and I'm like, I sound like I said crap paper. <laughs> Oh my. This is craft paper from Hobby Lobby. It's the only place I will buy my craft paper is from Hobby Lobby. I buy my black and my white from Michaels. Okay. I know it. It did. It almost sounded like crap paper. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, buy that crap paper. Hmm. Okay, you never know what comes out of my mouth. <laughs> okay, so our album measures nine and a quarter, so um, I always back it off a quarter. So I'm going to put my paper at nine, okay? So nine. So this piece of paper here is six and three quarters, okay? Six and three quarters by nine, okay? Six and three quarters by nine. Okay. Uh, Kelly, did you see my post about Michael's being out of 12? I, I seen it and I read just a couple of comments and then I got distracted and I forgot to go back and read it. I... I can't believe Michaels is out of the 12 by 12 black paper. That's un that's unreal. I wonder if something ain't going on. I wonder if they are in the process of changing it over to something. And they want to get rid of all the old stock and bring in something new. It kind of makes me wonder. Because I've never, I've never seen them run out. Never. So I don't know if they're trying to change something. I'll have when I get done with this live, I'll have to go back and, and read read it again. Oh, you didn't get a chance to, that's okay, Connie. That's quite okay. I'm glad you find your, your tie back and you get it tomorrow. Yeah, that's why it's online out of twelve by twelve. That's just that's crazy. That's what I'm wondering if they are they changing the design of the packaging, which usually you know that doesn't warrant a clean break. But I'm wondering, you know, something didn't change and it's warranting a clean break to clean out all the old stock before they bring in the new stock. I don't know. We'll see. <gasps> Ooh, your husband bought it for you. Good job, Connie. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm wondering, Patty. Something's ch something is changing for them to be completely out. And last time they changed the branding of the. Uh, let me let me show you. 
here a while back, it's been, what, two years ago? They changed the look of all this. But it, it didn't warrant a clean break. Now that they're, you know, doing a clean break, I'm really wondering if something ain't really changing. We'll see, ladies. We'll see. We have to, we may have to go paper shopping. <laughs> go do some paper shopping. I know. And Sandy, that's the way it always is. You know, they bring out these new new tools, and we all buy it, and, you know, we get used to using it, and then they discontinue it and bring something out different. And it's like, you know, guys, leave things alone. But, you know, I understand, you know, why they do what they do, but, jeez wheeze, leave things alone. All right. Oh, she did. Well, that's good, Kelly. That was awful nice of Shelly. Yeah, with the creative memories, yep. Okay, so now we're going to attach this down. So let me show you how I do this. So I'm going to put tape uh, all the way around this. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens because I have, you know, I've been scrapbooking for, oh gosh, 17 years now. And I've been using Michael's paper probably for a good 10, 12 years now. And I've never seen them out of stock. I bet they're changing. Something major is changing. And I hope it's not the quality of it. I will be a mad person. <laughs> I will be upset. Because I hate paper shopping. I mean, you buy a paper, get it in, it cracks. So then you try something else, and you get it in, and it cracks. And you try something else, and you know, and I know you can use it for photo mats and stuff, but it just gets aggravating. You know, when you find something that works, and, you know aggravating yeah I don't have it quite up there yet Virginia that takes some time and I just I haven't been sitting in my craft chair very very much or trying not to anyway I've got it to get up there I've got a couple of paper lines to get up there um, there's a couple other things I gotta get on there I'm hoping tomorrow I can get that done. I, I will try to have it done by Friday. So I've got some paper lines to get on there um, for sale. And the Tim Holtz ruler. Um, I've got the... Uh, I'm going to start carrying the Tim Holtz um, applicator in there. And then the pads that you can order on there. I will try and get that done by Friday, hon. I just don't want to sit in this craft chair too long. Okay. So there's that. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add tape on my spine here, okay? Now you got to remember, you're going to have just a little bit that's going to be showing on your black, okay? So you got to kind of remember that when you're putting your tape down. And I'm going to go right along the spine piece. Okay. Just remember you've got a little bit of space here that's going to be showing. So don't put no tape there. Okay.
because if you don't put tape right here where I'm putting this tape, your paper's gonna bubble. And I, I don't like that. So, you know, if you were opening and closing your book, your paper is going to bubble because it's not stuck down to nothing. So that's why I tape right along my spine here. And see, now I've got tape here and tape here. So I'm good. Okay. Oh, this piece was six and three quarters by nine. Six and three quarters by nine. Ooh, you had Michael's paper crack on you for the first time? Ooh. That's not good. I usually have pretty good luck with that Michael's black paper. I don't know if I've ever had it crack on me. Now, the 110 paper, you know, the 110 pound um, Michael's Recollections. Now, I have had it crack, but not the 65 pound. Wow. Yeah, bunny, six and three, six and three quarters by nine. And then I put my tape on my spine and then tape right along my um, spacer tape. You know, you have this space right here, okay? Now, you got to remember, too, when you're doing albums, when you create that quarter-inch space, that does allow you for a little bit more room. What it does is it rounds the corners. You know, it softens instead of a sharp corner. So, when you put your spacer tape in here, it will actually give you more room you'll actually usually about an inch and a quarter is what will yeah see inch and a quarter and you don't have such a rough edge right here okay it softens it Yes, Regina, my store accepts PayPal. The only thing, when you check out with PayPal, make sure you do it the long way where you log into your PayPal account. Do, don't do the short version of it because my site will not accept um, if you just click PayPal and you're done. You have to um, click the PayPal that where you have to log into your account. But yeah, I do accept PayPal. I accept... Um, all all credit cards so yep oh thank you Kelly yeah scrapping it up dot com with no G scrapping it up dot com thank you very much Kelly Yeah, you, um, my Amazon link, if you go through any of my, um, like, uh, I have posted, you know, um, alcohol inks. Anytime you go through my, one of my Amazon links, I get credit for it. It may be like a amount of a, you know, small, small cup of coffee, but I do earn just a very small percentage. And you don't pay any more for your, um, order than normal. But yeah, I earn just a very small percentage, but every little bit helps. Yeah, I saved it, I think. It's either in the group or on the page. I put the link. I think it's scrapping it up at the very top. There's two announcements. One is my tutorial membership, and the other one is my Amazon link. Okay, let's get this on here. Make sure my tape ain't gonna show. 
Uh -oh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be careful. That little piece here might show. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to back that off just a little bit. Okay, take my tape off. Oh, and I want to ink this up first, too. I think I want to do some inking. Hey, Shelly, are you still on strike with ink? <laughs> I will never forget that. As long as I, anytime I start inking anything, Shelly, you come to my mind instantly. You will always, always be on my mind forever. <laughs> What is that song? You'll always be on my mind. <laughs> oh. I do. Every time I ink something, I think of Shelly. And I think it's pretty awesome. So, Shelly, you're always on my mind. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to kind of center this. I'm just going to kind of eye... <gasps> Oops. Just kind of eyeball it. You just want to make sure you get it straight across here. And then burnish it to make sure you get a good stick. Now, if you're using black paper, I would probably just use my fingers. Because if you're going to not put paper down, it will show your marks. Oh, no, it's not a bad thing. I love it. I love it when I get I d do some inking. I'm like, oh, I think of Shelly. I think it's pretty darn cool. Nope, it's not a bad thing at all. Well, at that time that we were doing all that inking, Shelly, <laughs> yeah, we done a lot of inking. Woo. I should have went on strike myself. <laughs> you was the smart one, Shelly. <coughs> yes, Willie Nelson saying always on my mind. Oh, Elvis did too. <gasps> you're you're right, Bunny. Elvis did sing that. You're right. Yeah, I know. I should have, Shelly. You are correct about that. I should have. Because I kind of messed up my shoulder. Alright. So now this piece... Four inches. I mean, even three and three quarters will catch it. So that will catch that in three and three quarters. And that will catch that in. Okay. Okay. So, three and three quarters by nine. Okay. I think I'm just going to go ahead and cut this paper by nine. Well, no. Because some of those pockets need to be greater than nine. Never mind. Never mind. So, three and three quarters. By nine. So three and three quarters by nine, guys. Oh, welcome back, Virginia. I know now I got that song stuck in my head. I can hear I can hear it in my brain. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm just going to stick this down with score pile tape.
I wonder how long that'll rattle in my brain. You're always on my mind. <laughs> oh my word. It's funny how, you know, just like every time I ink, I think of Shelly. You know, it, it's weird how we do these little things that reminds us of, you know, an event in our life. It, it's weird. I mean, it's, it's not weird. It's neat. But, you know, just such a little event can, you know, impact somebody's life so much. I think it's, it's awesome. Okay, I'm putting tape on both pieces, three and three quarters by nine. And I'm just putting three strips here. Usually I put a strip that way. I don't know why I didn't do that. Sorry about that, ladies. I should have done the strip because we need coverage on that bottom. You don't want that to be open all the way through there. All right. Got it. Got it. I think that, yeah, I'll have to tuck that under. So now I'm going to ink these, and I'm just inking three sides. I'm not inking where these are going to, you know, overlap each other. And I got to show you, I got to show you girls this. This is what Gracie, or Sandy, I'm sorry, Sandy, which she goes by Gracie. This is what she sent me, and it's an ink pad holder. So I could put my, you know, just like that. I don't know why I have this other one in here. And then I just put that and that. But ain't this cute, guys? Look at this. It's wonderful. And I love it. And it's even got, let me tip it upside down. It's got little feet on it. It's an ink, ink holder tray. Ain't that wonderful? I just love that little tray. I love it. So thank you very much, Sandy. It's beautiful. And it looks very elegant on my desk. Okay. So I just inked three sides. Now I'm going to put these on. I'm just lining them up. Make sure I'm lined up. And I am. Oh, got ink on me. Okay, now I'll take my tape off. Oh, welcome, Brandy. Glad you could join us. Oops, make sure your ink side's on the side it needs to be. Okay, I'm going to just flip this just a little bit. Make sure you get a good stick down. Okay, let's do the other side. Okay. 
Yep, Brandy, we're just putting our covers on, so you haven't miss, missed very much, hun. We're just getting our um, pieces of paper on our cover here. Or on our, yeah, covers. So you haven't missed much. And give them a good burnish. Could I have gotten it all in one piece? No. Uh uh. Nope. I was going to say crap. I could have got that all in one piece, seriously. <laughs> I didn't think I would. <laughs> you had me worried, Shelly. Yeah, because it measures 12, 13, probably 13 and a half. Well, here. What's it measure? Yep, 13 and a half. I didn't want no seam in my spine, so that's why I sp split it up. You could have done just one big sheet and then one piece. I mean, it's to totally up to you guys. I just did mine in three. Which you could do it, you know, in one piece, 12, and then, you know, a little piece to finish covering it. Okay, now I'm going to slowly start burnishing this and raising her up at the same time. This is very, very important. Don't go fast. Just start burnishing it and raising it up. What you're doing is breaking those fibers down, okay? And do the other side just slowly raising her up and burnishing this is important because this will break down your fibers you've got to break down those fibers so your paper doesn't crack Okay. Then sometimes I just turn it on its back and just lightly. My board must be dirty. And just lightly, lightly. All right. There we go beautiful perfect oh welcome Michelle glad you could join us I hope you you and your family are doing better Just wanted to hear the explanation for someone new, maybe. <laughs> That's true. Very true, Shelly. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Because sometimes I don't think, you know, it's just second nature to me. And sometimes I don't think about explaining why did I do it that way, okay? So anytime, guys, don't be afraid to ask any questions. Or why did you do it that way, Vanessa? Okay, guys? Because sometimes I don't always think to tell you why I done it that way. I mean, I usually have a reason for my madness. I'm not crazy. I hope not. <laughs> did you use two black sheets? On the um, cover piece, yes. I used two black sheets on the on the cover part itself. Now on the inside we use three. I don't remember what our measurements was for um 
It was a 12 by 12, and then it was a... four and a quarter so a 12 by 12 sheet and four and a quarter and then you overlap them half an inch something like that anyway all right now we have our hinge here okay and do I want to ink this up or not Hmm. Oh, dang it. I gotta quit turning like that. Let me see what it looks like inked. Really, it doesn't matter if it's inked or not, really. Okay, let's put, a, put our hinge down. Now our hinge... Here is our um, spine right here. You're going to go about eighth of an inch away from that spine. Okay? About an eighth of an inch away. Let me get mine on and then I'll bring it closer to, to where you guys can see this. Okay? So I make sure that I fit. I don't want to go over my craft paper here. Okay? So I fit. So that's good I don't have to trim it down now to get this started what I do I take the tape off like that okay I get it started and then I get it where I want it to be and about eighth of an inch away you do not you don't want this in that, ooh, boy. You don't want it in the crook of that spine at all, okay? Might be just a little bit more than an eighth of an inch away. Well, I'm a little bit over this end, on this end. Okay, my head's going to get in the way, you guys. Sorry, I apologize. So I'm going to hold it there, take some tape off. Yeah, make sure you hold it. You can just take one piece of your tape off. Stick her down. Oh man, I got, what am I, I wasn't looking right. Crapolas. I was way off. I don't know if I was seeing a shadow or what. Crap. Okay, I gotta use undo, guys. No, I've got it on the right side, Kelly. Yeah, I decided not to ink it, Shelly. <laughs> I think you forgot with the other one. inked it a little bit although it does look a lot and it's too late now oh well okay I'm going to use a little bit of undo guys I got to take a little bit of this off For it to dry. I don't know if I was seeing a shadow or what I was 
I wasn't looking right. So we'll let that dry a little bit. Yep, and thanks to Kelly, she sent me undo. <laughs> yep, Kelly sent me some undo. <laughs> this is only my second time ever using it. Okay. And I'm still sticky, so... I'm now going to stick it down where I need it to be. Alright. She's down. She is down. So thank you very much, Kelly. I greatly appreciate it. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I've seen a shadow or what the deal was. Boy, I was getting that off big time. See, that's what I should have done, Shelly. I should have inked it. I would have been able to see it better. You are very correct. It. I, I don't know what... The, I was getting way off. I mean, I was way over a quarter of an inch down here. Sometimes my bifocals. I need new glasses. So now we have our hinge and our other hinge. Yay. All right. I'm, um, this undo, um, Kelly, can you, uh, tell them where they can get undo? I imagine you can probably get it Amazon. Um, it's almost like lighter fluid. Yeah, you don't want to sniff it because it, it is pretty potent. Pretty potent. But I'll tell you what. It works. I was working on an album here a few weeks ago. And, and my when I put my page on, it got crooked. And I was like, I didn't want to start over. And, you know, I'd already... So I grabbed that undo and used it. And I'll tell you what. I was very, very very impressed with it you know i'd always seen kathy Orta king use and i'm like oh you know i don't need undo and then i um i always wanted to try it and i kept saying it was on my list of orders on my list to order and shoot i'd never ordered it and kelly sent me some <laughs> so now i'm using it and i love it and i love it thank you very much kelly Oh, you've gotten it at Hobby Lobby before, Stephanie? Well, that's cool. Hmm. I'll be darn. Yeah, if you sniff it, you'll get high. <laughs> Kill some brain cells or something. Okay, let's get our belly band done for our planner. Okay. First, we got to stick our paper down. So, I need to choose some paper. So, let's look to see what I have. Like I said, this is Love Notes. And Graphic 45. Mmm. Oh, I love the smell of new paper. Mercy. Does anybody else like the smell of new paper? Or am I just stupid? <laughs> I love the smell of new paper. I know. I'm weird. Ooh. Ooh, we could do the belly band in that and do the front in that. <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh, I like that. Oh my gosh, decisions. Crap. Olas. 
Oh, you like to smell a new favorite too, Regina and Lillian? Oh, welcome, Lillian. You slipped in the back door, but welcome, hun. You saw the, the paint and solvent section? Huh, oh my darn. I know this paper. Oh my word, it smells so heavenly. <laughs> oh, welcome, Suzanne. Oh my gosh. So I'm glad I'm not the only one. Oh my word. Oh, it smells heavenly. Okay, let's see what we have. Ooh, that's even pretty. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I do carry this in my shop, guys, too. Um, it's a love note collection. Um, you get the paper pack, and then you get this, and another paper pack by Kaiser Craft, and some stickers with it. I think I want that for the cover. Wow, beautiful paper. I think I want this for the, the inside. And then I think I'm going to put those little music notes for my belly band. Yep, that's what I'm doing. Oh, good night, Patty. Thanks for watching, hon. Have a good evening. I'm using some of the paper from Kaiser Craft that doesn't look as good with the love notes. I made too many boo-boos. Oh, you made too many boo <laughs> That's a good idea, Kelly. Yeah, because you ordered the love notes. So you have that paper pad mix and match that it goes with this. Great idea, hon. Yeah, we're getting high on smelling paper. <laughs> Getting high on smelling paper. It's called a scrapbooking high. Okay. So now, my paper that I'm going to put here, we have about five and three quarters. Because you, you really don't want up against where that folds. You want to be just, a you know, about an eighth of an inch away. So I'm going to cut my paper at five and five eighths. Okay. Five and five eighths. <coughs> okay. Five and five eighths. Which should be. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So it'd be the next mark after five and a half. Okay. By eight and three quarters. So eight and three quarters. Love it, love it. I never did show you guys how close. The second, let me get. Oh man. Whew. Let me show you. I never did show you how close I got. Can you see? I mean, it's like an eighth, eighth of an inch away. So that way, when the book opens and shuts, it's not going to be totally up against it okay about an eighth of an inch away and then my paper here 
I always like it to have a border. See, I like this. I've got three different borders. I have the black. Sorry, I, sh I got the black, the craft, and now my paper. I love that. I love it. I love the three different. I'm glad I'm doing the black craft combination. Okay, so let's put this down. Now, when I put my paper down, guys, uh, I use an ATG, an ATG gun, which is Advanced Tape Glider by Scotch. Okay. And you can get this at your, I mean, if if you do quite a bit of album making, this is well worth it. Um, you can get this at Hobby Lobby. Use your 40% off coupon. Um, I think you even get it at Michael's. It comes with two um, tape rolls with it. And you know, Michael's sometimes has a 50% off coupon. These are like 30, $34 or something like that. But if you're going to do a lot of album making, or it just, it's, it's great. And the tape is put out by Scotch, and you know, it, it really does hold really well. I've never had any problems with it whatsoever. It's the only tape that I will apply paper now I will use, a, you can use your art glitter glue, put your paper down, there's nothing wrong with that. You can even use your Faber-Tac Faber to put your paper down. I need to start learning to use the art glitter glue because it's probably cheaper than the ATG. The ATG is pretty expensive guys. And if I do a huge album, Let's say the Kit Club project um, that I'm coming out with, the Travel with Adventure. I use four rolls of adhesive for that album. Four rolls. So it, it can get a little expensive. Oh, welcome, Mickey. Yep. Better late than never. <laughs> yeah, we applied our hinge. We got our cover paper on. And I'm ready to stick my design paper down on this side and get our belly band done. Um, Scotch double-sided tape works really well, too. I've never tried that, Virginia. Huh, I'll be darned. So I'm just going to center this. Um, it was five and five eighths, Debbie. Five and five eighths by eight and three quarters. Okay. So five and five eighths by eight and three quarters. <gasps> Seriously, it's been an hour. Crap. Dang it, time flew. Sucks. Well, we'll, we'll get our belly band, and then I'll then I'll. Quit. Yeah, because I don't want to overdo it because that will do me in for a few days and I'll be down again. Thank you very much, Shelly. Time flies. <laughs> I know. I need to start doing that, Sandy. I need to start using this. I I need to do that. You know, I, I'm, just, I'm getting better at, you know, little embellishments and stuff like that using it. But to put on like a big piece of paper like this, I, I haven't been brave enough yet. And I need to be. Yeah, it's eight, almost eight, quarter after eight already. Wow. Okay, let's get our belly band done. And then um, I'll call it quits for tonight. Okay, so your calendar that you're going to put in here. 
Okay. You will need. Let me get this sticker off. Well, I'll take it off later. Okay, like this calendar measures five and a half. So my belly band is six. So I allowed half an inch for playroom. You don't want a whole lot of playroom because then it'll, it'll just slip out, okay? And you don't want it slipping out, okay? So what you do, if you don't have a planner like mine, or, you know, whatever planner that you can find, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Walmart, you know, just as long as it fits in here, okay? What you're gonna do, you're gonna measure it. Mine measures six and three quarters, okay? So I, to cut my belly band, I'm gonna cut my belly band at seven and three quarters. So whatever your planner is, you're going to add a inch. Is that right? No. No, I'm not right. Nope, nope, nope. I'm not right, guys. Okay. The planner is... Oops, that pin's out of lead. Okay, my measure your planner, which is minus six and three quarters. We need to add a half an inch plus one inch, okay? So, seven and a quarter, we're gonna measure our belly band at eight and a quarter, okay? So whatever your your um, calendar is, add a half an inch and add an inch, okay? That should be the length of your belly band, okay? So for instance, let's say your, let's say your calendar measures, Let's say your calendar measures seven inches. So you are going to measure your, you're gonna cut your belly band at eight and a half, okay? Because you need a half an inch and an inch. So if your calendar measures seven, you're gonna cut your belly band at eight and a half, okay? Um, Vanessa, I have a dumb question. How do you come up with all those ingenious, beautiful ideas and not just 12 by 12. Uh, come on. Here lately, it hasn't let me click on see more, and it just makes me so mad. Uh, I just, I just come up with the ideas. Is that what you're asking, Stephanie? How I come up with all these? ingenious beautiful ideas and not just 12 by 12 I'm assuming 12 by 12 pages I just I just come up with the ideas I mean a lot of times I come up with my ideas when I'm trying to go to sleep or a lot of times when I'm in the shower I come up with my ideas I can be driving down the road you know I'm going to town to go get groceries and all of a sudden I'm texting my husband not texting but you know hit the little voice thing and I talk into it, and I send my husband my message so that when I get home, he can remind me, okay, Vanessa, you left me a message here about scrapbooking I'm <laughs> to re so I can get it wrote down. I'm, my brain never shuts off. It's all the time. I'm, I have so many ideas, it's not even funny. And I have a, a lot of them I have wrote down in a book. Some of them are just floating up in my head. Oh, thanks, Mickey. <laughs> I use articulated glue and don't use near as much as you do. I've never had anything come loose. I love it. I know. I need to start using it. And I, I need to start using less of it, too. Because I have noticed I do use a lot of it. I'm so afraid it's not going to stick. And it does stick. And it does work. I need I need to start doing it. You girls are just going to have to start beating my hands. Come on, use that glue. <laughs> she takes showers. That's funny. <sighs> oh, for post albums or three ring binders. <coughs> I do have something coming up in the works for that, Stephanie. I do. I do have something coming up in the works for that. We've got a Christmas planner coming up. 
that we're going to do in a three ring binder. I don't do any post albums, Stephanie. Yeah, I don't like those post albums. And I, and I don't know why. I mean, I know a lot of you use them. I just never have done any. I just don't like those post albums. I use the three ring binders to put my 12 by 12 pages into. Oh, thanks, Bunny. Thanks, Connie. <laughs> I'm the bomb. Hey, I love it. I'm the bomb. <laughs> I love it. I know. We need a bell or a buzzer. That would be awesome. Yeah, I have a um, Christmas planner coming up. That we will do it in a three wing three ring binder and it will be the decorative three three ring binder that's true but yeah you can't use the undo with the the glue you're right about that um what is a post album a post album is a you have post in it that stick up like this and then you put your your um, 12 by 12 pages in it that are in um, plastic sleeves. So they're all scrunched down. But when you go to flip your um, post, and this is what I don't like about them, that when you flip them, it's, it's hard to explain. <laughs> it's a way of... Uh, you know preserving our 12 by 12 pages and it's called a post bound album and all your pages are scrunched together and a post is ran through them so they don't go nowhere but um, your pages will only um, turn up to where that you know the top of the post are I don't know how to explain it uh, Regina what size of binder it is gonna be um, it's not a regular binder. It is a binder um, that Simple Stories puts out. And I think it's like a 8x8 eight eight maybe. I don't think it's quite 8x8 eight eight yet. It won't be a great, you know, 8.5x11 by, by no means, no. It'll be a, a little bit smaller binder. And it will be a binder that you will use year after year after year so you can always keep a track of your um, what did you give um, as gifts last year what did you fix for dinner last year what gifts you know maybe did you receive what decorations did you put up how much did you spend on your your dinner um, you know just stuff that you can keep from year to year okay I got I got Bo that last year I can't get him that this year Oh my gosh. And another secret. Where did you hide your gifts at? I am the biggest one to buy Christmas gift in July. Hide it and forget about it and find it five years later in my closet. Yeah, that's me. So, you'll have a place in there to, you know, you can put, where did you hide, you know, Bo's gift? What did you get him and where did you hide it? because <laughs> I always forget always where I hide those presents and I find them several years later no you can't put as many pages in a postbound album you're correct yeah it's one of the original postbound yeah that and the straps Okay, let's get our belly band done. So, my belly band is going to be eight and a quarter. So, cut my piece of paper at eight and a quarter by, what's my cutting guide say? <coughs> say that it needs to be... belly band two by seven but that's when I had the other binder or the other cal calendar okay 
So two by eight and a quarter. So whatever your calendar is, you're gonna add an inch plus a half an inch, okay? Need an online shopping, Black Friday plan, and passwords. Yeah. And I'm hoping this, this Christmas planner will include a Black Friday because it's going to include Black Friday and Halloween, or not Halloween, Thanksgiving and Christmas. Okay. All those three pretty well go all together. So that way you can look back and, okay, last year I spent $400. Let's uh, only maybe do $200 this year, okay? So yeah, it will include, I'll try and include Black Friday and um, Thanksgiving and Christmas in this, in this Christmas planner. Whoops. No, believe it or not, guys, I didn't spend one dime last um, Black Friday, last year's Black Friday. I did not spend a dime. Now the year before I did, but not last year. Last year I didn't I didn't spend a dime. Okay, oh I'm sorry. I scored half an inch on each end. I'm sorry, ladies, I didn't even show you. I'm sorry. Okay, so half an inch on each end, guys. Okay. Then you're gonna fold. Okay. We're going to attach our score pile tape. <coughs> yeah, I've never been big on the Black Friday thing. My sister is huge on Black Friday. I never have been. I went once and I told myself I'd never go again. Oh my gosh, people were crazy that day. I thought it was ugh, not for me. Not for me. <coughs> okay, so now I'm going to ink. Well, do I want to ink this up? I didn't ink this. Yeah, let's ink it up. Why not? Why not? Okay, so since this one is bigger than my last one, I think I just want this to be in the middle. And I don't want it, you know, all the way, you don't want it all the way over here. <coughs> you kind of want it over here. That way when you're folding these over, um, you're, you're giving these kind of support here. To where if it was over here and then it, you know, just drops off here. I like it to be over here. Totally, it's totally up to you guys wherever you prefer to put it, okay? Okay, so I'm going to put this down. And I want it up against... The spine of my calendar so I know where to put this okay and you can get your ruler out mark it make sure you know you've got it centered and all that but you know what I'm gonna eyeball it I'm gonna eyeball it oops and I just moved it And just take the tape off. There we go. There we go, ladies. There's our belly band for our planner. See, this one here is a two-year planner. 
Ooh, look at all the contacts in back. Ooh, I kind of like that. <gasps> yeah, this is a two-year plan. Well, 2020 and what's left of 2000. Yeah, it is a two-year planner. Password records pages. Hey, I gotta check that out. There's passwords. Here's what I use for my passwords, guys. I went and bought me a little book at um, Walmart. This is when I worked at my shop, my Bittersweet Florals and Gifts. And um, it's just a little notebook. What I done, I put these little tabs. So I every third page, I put these little tabs. So you guys, but yeah, I put these little tabs on. And then in the very back, I just have a place for notes. Or, you know, things that I want to remember. Phone numbers that I needed to call. But yeah, that's my address book. Plus my passwords and all that. And I'll tell you what, this thing here is a lifesaver. A lifesaver. I bet I probably have 300 passwords. And they're not all the same. I mean, there's a lot of them that's kind of duplicates. But I think I have... 10 different ways for my passwords. <laughs> okay, guys. That is it for tonight. Yep, I got to get off here, bunny. Yep, it's 8.30. My back is telling me it's, it's time. It is time. Okay, guys. We will be back tomorrow night. Same time. Same place. We will get our notepad holder in here and start working on our pocket pages. I know we'll get our pocket pages hooked in here and get our notepad holder done tomorrow, okay? Oh, that's okay, Stephanie. You like to shop like I like to craft. <laughs> See, that's one thing. I hate shopping, Shelly. I hate shopping with a passion. I hate it. I hate shopping. I know. I told you guys I'm weird. <laughs> okay, guys. That is it. Um, we will see you tomorrow night. Same place and same time. Um, I hope you guys have a good rest of your evening. And have a good day tomorrow. And we'll see you tomorrow night for part three. Okay? So, as always, keep scrapping. Bye-bye.